The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the terrific Thursday, the March 24th edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I are going to go check on the circumstances of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial them, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. And inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers. Then, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, I've got all U.S. indices trading in the upside. Dow's up 198 points. S&P 38. NASDAQ 184. Semi, uh, the Russell's up 12. Semi's 131. That's nearly 4%. To the upside, gold's up 27 bucks, 1.5%. Silver's up 3%. 76 pennies. Lights we crew back nearly 2% or $2.10 to the downside. 11282 is the print. Natural gas up 15 pennies. Trade down at 542 and the 30 year treasury down seven ticks, trading at 149.10. Lead the charge dollar wise, the upside booking holdings 87 bucks, 4%. Google 33, one and two tenths percent. Micro strategy $26, nearly 6%. Monolithic power systems 5%, 22 bucks. To the downside, First Citizens Bank shares up 28 bucks, 4%. EPAM Systems, 18 bucks, 6%. Amazon, 14 bucks, 4 tenths of percent. Top Build Corp, 11 bucks, 5%. And Monday, on a Thursday, is down 11 bucks or 6%. Of course, I want to look at what you want to look at. Don't know what that is because we have, oh, we do have a request. Let's, say, let's save that request. Let's go take a look at the uh, general markets here. First, just report back to you about the new profiles that have formed. And so now we've got, now when I say they've formed, there are two that are attempting to form, two that have already taken hold. The two that are attempting to form are in the ES and the NQ. So we now have new resistance and support levels. Resistance for the ES mini, 45.14.75. It's a bearish structured profile, will not be confirmed until 6.01 this evening. Let's assume that it stays as is. Your resistance level again, 45.14.75. A close above that says we head back to the recent highs. The recent highs in the 45.60-ish range out there. If price were to close below the center of the bearish structured profile, that number is 44.37. That's what you'd be watching for during the day today. If there was a close below that level or overnight, then that's going to signal a move back to 43.22. In the case of the NQ, that's assuming that the profile does take hold this evening. Same set of scenarios here with the NQ. And what I mean by that is that the NQ has resistance at the 14,690 level and support at 13,991. It's hard to see the center, which is at 13,431. So it's a slightly bearish structured profile. And a close below 13,14,341 would suggest a move to 13,991. Now, the two profiles that actually took hold last night are in the Dow and the Russell 2000. The Dow's new profile, the top of which is resistance, is 34,792. The bottom is at 33,906. It's a relatively equally weighted, distributed set of profiles here, so no edge to either the bulls or the bears. You can't see price right now today dealing with the descending trend line. The case Russell 2000, bullish structured profile, Support at 2022, between 2022 and 2041, and resistance at 2097. 
So that's all I've got with regard to the new profiles out there to assist you with regard to your trading. So now let's go to our first question. We don't want to get behind on these. We don't have much in the way of questions here. But let's go do this anyways. And this is from uh, David H. in Tomball, Texas. And David wants to take like really two instruments, Sandridge Energy. Sandridge is an independent oil and gas company uh, based in Oklahoma City. Please include over resistance areas in your analysis. If you, if you have time, please take a look at Mosaic. Well, the answer to your question here, overhead resistance, that's going to be simple. Well, the real overhead resistance is 1705. Uh, we're looking at the black background chart. 1705 on the daily time frame is a bearish shooting star candle. That actually confirmed a Rhodesman uh, Rhodes indicator top. And then on the uh, day, weekly time frame, 1705 happens to be the confirmed top for its uh, Three River Evening Star candle formation, or even the bearish sash candle that happened the day before. So your real resistance level here in Sandridge Energy, uh, David, is going to be the 1705 level. If you close above that, then where do we head to? That's a great question. I would just simply take a retracement uh, uh, view of the uh, longer term chart, the monthly chart out here. Let's take a look at that uh, retracement level from high to low. Let's see where we're at in the uh, move. We're right around the 0 0.618 area. So close above 1705 would then signal move to the 2125 range. David, there is some profile resistance that exists at 1609. That's what you're dealing with right now. That is the top of the uh, daily box out there. So close above 1605, or 1609, I should say, would signal move to 1705. What else can we share with you? Uh, let's just go take a look at the eight panel uh, set of charts out here, the white background chart, see if there's any additional information. Now you can visibly see the weekly roads momentum indicator top, the daily roads momentum indicator top. You can see the price is also above the oscillator and change lines for both those time frames. So that says that uh, what the overall signal inside of Sandridge is is neutral. Valid top, price above support, green oscillator and change line on the weekly basis. It needs to really close above uh, support, the 1609 level on the daily to give you that neutral signal. But because it's still trading above that green oscillator and change line, we're going with neutral. Anything else out here? A uh, 15 minute chart just to show you price reactions, the way these things work in these tools. You get a Rogeman indicator top. It sends price back to the TD9 breakout level of 1551. Does that form bar number eight of a TD9 count, forms a TD9 count pattern. Price should go target 1604. And above 1604, you're looking at 1627. So I hope that helps you out, uh, David. Uh, let's go take a look at you wanted uh, Mosaic. Let me try to populate this white background set of charts out here. See how quickly we can get that accomplished here this afternoon. Uh, and uh, so if it takes too long, then I will go with game plan B. But your questions with regard to Mosaic, we're just simply looking for resistance. So in the case of Mosaic, it's trading above all resistance, profile resistance, that is. Uh, so daily, weekly, and monthly. So now let me just pull back the monthly chart, see if there's anything that we can see out here for resistance. And I'd have to say the next price target for you takes you all the way back into the 2011 time frame. And that's just simply a swing point from February. And so that next target area or their next really resistance level on a monthly basis is 89.24. So you've got that for the monthly time frame. Let's take a look at the uh, weekly, see if there's anything that pops out here. Pull this back. Nothing that I see out here. I'd have to go back even further. No reason to have to do that. So, David, the 195-minute chart has a valid TD nine-count top. And I would say if there's a close above that high, which is 69.65, that would suggest that uh, price continues. Let me make sure. Was that the right price? No. Uh, yeah, 69.65. You get a close above that, and it says that Mosaic continues to motor to the upside. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance. We speak right now. So I do hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing in. A quick uh, peek at the uh, other requests coming in. Dennis G. writes in and says a short-term outlook for a few weeks on the QQQ. Yeah, so that's an interesting one. Um, let's put the QQQ series here so here's what i'm going to uh suggest to you you know in, in the case of the queues i'll be paying attention to the nqs out there the futures contract the futures contract as we had mentioned has formed a new or is attempting to form a new um daily profile so i'm going to actually change i've got the queues up here um but Dennis, I don't make my decisions based on what happens from the queues. Uh, when I take a long or short position in the in the in the, uh, in the indices, I pay attention to what's going on inside the equity futures charts because of the patterns that they form. And because pattern recognition is about price discovery, volume schmalium. It's about price discovery. Volume is important, but it's only one leg of the stool out there. We're looking for patterns. And I want something that trades nearly 23 uh, and a quarter hours of the uh, day. So I would never. I never, did I say never? I mean, I never make my decisions about the indices based on what's going on inside the index ETFs, like the Qs or the RSP for the equal weighted out. They're important to take a look at, and we do take a look at them. But instead, I would just simply go back to the NQs. Okay, so enough of that dissertation out here. What window are we on? We're not on the right window. So I just want to come back here because I really believe that this answers your question with regard to the time frame that you're looking at. Now, I can't tell you whether it's the next two or three weeks. What I can share with you, and you're looking at the bottom right-hand panel screen out here. This is Stevie's synthetic version of the contract, so you don't see that profile forming here on the June contract that is to your left. But let's assume that this takes hold, and we won't, we'll know that at 6 o'clock this evening, then your range out here is really between support and resistance, and the range is resistance at 14,690. Again, if price takes that out, that is bullish, and that says that we had higher. Price can't take that out. It could be a consolidation. It could take you back to support, which would be 13,991. So right now, that's the range that we would have when we take a look at the NQ. Uh, I don't have a new profile that's forming inside of the QQQ series ETF, so um, I do hope that helps you out with regard to the queues but right now oh you're done this year in west palm that's great we've got a neighbor out here uh so i really just be paying attention to those profiles and tomorrow uh we'll make sure that we go back and confirm whether or not those profiles have in fact taken hold this next question coming in from uh, mark d and uh mark wants to take a look at uh uec so uh, let me get UEC fired up here, get those going on those white charts. And I'll stay to the black panel. I think that's where we're at. Yeah. Let me get to our three time frames. We'll type this in here, UEC, see what UEC is. It is Uranium Energy Corp. Okay. So in this case here, Mark, what you're dealing with, oops, sorry about that. Uh, you're looking for a potential entry area. All right, so we look at the black background charts. You can see that price is taking on the resistance level at the top of its daily profile. First, before we even look at the white, white charts, which we'll do when we get back here, 
Your entry zone on this is between 372 and 428. I know it's a wide range, but it is what it is out there. We come back to this break. We'll see if there's any other information we can provide to Mark D. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So just to finish off UEC before we go to Ron in Denver out here, uh, and this is a Mark looking for an entry point. Mark, the 195-minute time frame chart, use 195-minute time frame chart because that's two equal time frame bars during the day out here. We see a TD9 count top and price below its uh, oscillator and change line and below the uh, – no, and, and so the first target area. So this may signal a pullback here. And that pullback, the first – so your entry points, I gave them to you on the daily time frame. On the 195, there are 386, 398, 401, and 432. Those would be the levels. I'd be looking at some kind of pattern as price is pulling back in those, into that area if, in fact, it does. So I do hope that helps you out, and uh, thanks so much for your request. Now, let's go to Ron in uh, Denver. Ron, thanks for uh, holding for so long. Much appreciated. How are you doing today? Uh, great, Steve. I also sent you an email. But, oh, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, on, on a company, Alpha and Omega Semiconductor, yeah. Uh, fundamentally, they're, they're earning fifteen fifty a share PE of four. I sold some puts on it. I just wondered for the next couple of weeks. I was wondering technically what what are your thoughts? Ah, so you missed Alpha yeah, Omega. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So we we had, we had covered that earlier, but let me do that for oh, you here I didn't right know now. That. 
Yeah, no, no problem. So first of all, with regard to, let me just restate it. First, I'm going to give you the numbers. Um, it has two different topping patterns. Yesterday was a confirmed sell the D point, and that was because it generated a, an A to B equals CD pattern, and yes, it was a shooting star, bearish shooting star. So 67.20 is your resistance level. If price is able to close above that, then price should go target the next area, which is about 71.34. If the if this takes hold, then what AOSL should do is pull back to test its oscillator and change line, which is currently printed at 56.94. Uh, the monthly and the weekly look very strong. Now, the weekly is trying to take out a resistance level run that formed with a Rhodes momentum indicator top the week that began January 3rd, 2022. And so a weekly close above $64 would also be bullish. But really, it's got to close above 67.20. The stock chart looks great out here uh, for those time frames, but you do have that confirmed data top but not until that high gets taken out does this suggest that it continues to move higher what additional information can I provide to you about AOSL no that's uh, that's the information I was looking for 6720 be resistance and hopefully it can break through that if it doesn't uh, okay I'll, uh, yeah I'll, I'll, I'll watch it accordingly you, perfect perfect that's great hey Rod thanks for holding I really appreciate that okay. sorry for overlooking uh, thank that you, sir. appreciate it you you, you bet. That was Ron in uh, Denver. Let's go to our next question out here. Well, there was a question to take a look at the GDX. So let me get the GDX up on my uh, screen out here. We're going to get to the black background screens. There we go. So in the case of the GDX out here, we can see that it's dealing with the resistance levels, two real, three, three resistance levels. They're all profile areas. I think this was for SNP and the Tigers Den. SNP, your first resistance level is 3903, top of daily profile. 3912, top of the weekly profile. 3986, top of the monthly profile. There's really not a whole heck of a lot more that I need to uh, do with regard to the GDX. I, I, though I don't know what the question was. Um, can I find that question? It might have been just to take a look at the GDX. I'm sorry, there's. It's, it's hard for me to follow along uh, sometimes with all the postings that go inside there. So if there's some other question that you have about it, but that's where resistance is at. Uh, by the way, price, uh, last time price traded up in this area was back in the trading day of the uh, eighth. That had about 80 million shares. You only 15 million shares today. So it's moving into that swing point with some uh, lighter volume out there. The next question coming in from Joe. Joe wants to take a look at Tilray. Absolutely. T-L-R-Y is the ticker symbol. I'm going to get that fired up on the uh, bat white background charts. We'll also get it up here on the black background charts. And the question is, can you take a look at Tilray for a long position at current price under six bucks? So Tilray, uh, why didn't it do that? There we go. So the interesting thing about Tilray is it's giving you the bottom, the real bottom signals coming from the uh, weekly time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart generated road momentum indicator signal last week. So you've got a nice bottom there. It didn't get, well, I take that back. We actually now have a confirmed Rosemont indicator bottom on the on the daily time frame. That occurred with this bull sash candle on March 22nd. And then yesterday, price closed above. See, what was the close? 589, top of the profile, 572. So this is going to be day number two, it looks like, with a close above the top of the daily profile. Says price should head higher. Now, you've got a battle. Your next battle is going to be at 678 bottom of the weekly profile if price can get inside there then your next battle is going to be 776 to 825 uh, so Tilray looks uh, pretty good for uh, let me just put the white charts out here real quickly for you um change windows give me a moment there we go. There's the white background charts out there. So and if you've got a TD9 count bottom on the monthly time frame. So Tilray really is giving us a signal that it's bottom uh, for for multiple time frames out here, but it's got some battles up ahead, and uh, we've already uh, shared with you what those areas are. The the other is one other battle. When I look at that 195 minute chart, and that's at the six dollar and twelve cent area. So Tilray just dealing with some resistance uh, levels out here, but otherwise all looks good. And that was for uh, Joe. Uh, Joe, thanks so much for writing in. Next question coming from Eddie. Eddie, if you've not already done so, can you take a look at Apple and Nvidia? Let's go take a look at NVDA, see what it is uh, doing out here. Give me a moment for this to uh, populate. And uh, 
And as far as Apple, as far as what it's doing out here, Apple is likely targeting a 178.66. And 178.66 is the top of its bearish structured weekly profile, Eddie. It's above the top of the daily. It's above the top of its monthly profile. So that's what's going on with Apple trying to kill two birds with one stone here. The one stone is letting these white background charts here populate. So now we've got it populated for NVIDIA. What do we know? We've got a monthly TD nine count top. Prices held support which was a profile level as well as its green oscillator and change line. On the weekly time frame, uh, NVIDIA has a TD9 count bottom, I believe. Was bar number eight that formed that bottom? It is. The price is above, as we said, the uh, top of its weekly profile. Its green oscillator and change line, 324.19 is its target area. NVIDIA for the daily time frame. Today is going to be bar number seven. It's running into resistance. That's at 285.95. If you can close above 285.95, that's a bullish thing. But today's bar number seven. So, Eddie, you could see a short term top a daily top forming nvidia between tomorrow friday and next tuesday so we'll have to come back to that uh, probably on monday to take a look at that so there's your twofer that takes care of apple and where it's headed to as well as uh, nvidia let's get to our last question out here uh steve do any major indices look to go short hmm well vic the uh that's a that's a great question and uh how is steve going to answer that question I'm going to answer it this way. We're going to take a look at the daily time frame for the equity future contracts out here. What you're going to notice is the only one that has a valid topping pattern is the Dow. Now, the Dow equity future contract, because of a couple of trades at the end of its uh, session yesterday, pushed price just above the close of bar number five. You do not have a TD9 count top in the Dow Diamonds. And you do not have it in the Dow Cash Indice. You'd like to have some kind of a unanimous vote. We do not have that. You've got a new daily profile that's formed inside the NQ. I'm sorry, inside the Dow. And the top of that profile is at 34,792. That would be the area that would be the best reward risk to try and take a short inside of the Dow, anticipating that it's going to find support at 33,906. We don't have topping patterns in the other uh, uh, indices out here, equity futures contracts. They're going to form bar number seven. Well, I take that back. The ES and NQ are going to form bar number seven today. So, how would I deal with this? Maybe they'll form TD9 count tops too, but that says that it wouldn't be till tomorrow where you get bar number eight, but you get to get bar number nine on Monday as well. So you may not have a short here until the early part of next week. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. 
The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, I believe it was uh, Vic that was asking about the uh, general markets out there. I took a look at it, and, and, and uh, Eddie had asked about Apple. So Apple's going to form bar number seven today of a TD9 count. So, again, that suggests that you could see a market top. That's really what the question was about. You could see a market top that forms between tomorrow and uh, Tuesday of next week. Let's finish out the show for one of our dinners. Let's take a look at Verizon. When it comes to Verizon, I'm going to give you one number to really pay attention to. Now, it's trading at 5097. 50.48 is the number. If price closed below 50.48, that happens to be the uh, monthly uh, profile low or bottom of the uh, profile. If uh, price uh, closed below that, this suggests lower price. Now, you say lower price to where over time, lower price would be 43.79. So you need to watch 50.48. In this case here, price has tested and rejected that red oscillator and change line. So long term, this is not a good signal. However, you do have support at that 5048 level. So that could hold or should hold. You've got a daily TD9 count bottom. That tells you the level to be watching there is that low, which is 5080. That says if you close below 5080, you're headed lower. But we got 5048 still on the monthly time frame that you really want to be taking a look at. So doesn't look great here for Verizon. I don't really see anything else out there. Uh, you do have the potential of a uh, bottom because you had a TD9 count four days ago. But uh, it really doesn't look good for the weekly basis. It doesn't look good. TD9 count bottom, but watch 5048. So I hope that helps you out. And I don't recall, I apologize, I don't recall who had made that request. But we got through all the requests. That is a, a bonus. Uh, that is uh, wonderful. Uh, quickly, what to take a look at. I don't really know. Uh, let me see here. Go back to our main screens. Folks, I say uh, right now you've got these new profiles that are forming, new profiles in support and resistance. We covered those at the beginning of the show in the ES, the NQ, the YM, and the Russell 2000. So those are really the levels to be watching to help give us a signal as to what the next intent is. The one that's closest to resistance right now is the NQ, which is the top of its profile. And that's at 14,690. You're trading at 14,667. The ES is not too far away. It's trading at 44,91 and 45,14 is the top of its profile. Folks, have a terrific Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow at 1.